It's the old American double standard. You know, say one thing, do something different. <laughs> and of course, the country is founded on the double standard. That's our history. We were founded on a very basic double standard. This country was founded by slave owners who wanted to be free. <laughs> Am I right? A group of slave owners who wanted to be free. So they killed a lot of white English people in order to continue owning their black African people so they could wipe out the rest of the red Indian people and move west and steal the rest of the land from the brown Mexican people, giving them a place to take off and drop their nuclear weapons on the yellow Japanese people. You know what the motto... You know what the motto of this country ought to be? You give us a color, we'll wipe it out. You got it. So anyway, about 80 years after the Constitution is ratified, 80 years later, the slaves are freed. Not so you'd really notice it, of course. <laughs> Just sort of on paper. And that was, of course, during the Civil War. Now, there's another phrase I dearly love. That is a true oxymoron, if I've ever heard one. Civil War. Do you think any country could really have a civil war? <laughs> Say, pardon me. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. I'm off this. So. Now, of course, the Civil War has been over for about 120 years, but not so you'd really notice it. Because we still have these people called Civil War buffs. People who thought it was a really keen war. And they study the battles carefully, and they try to improve on the strategies and the tactics to increase the body count, in case we have to go through it again sometime. In fact, some of these people actually get dressed up in uniform once a year and go out and refight these battles. You know what I say? Use live ammunition, assholes, would you please? <laughs> you might just raise the intelligence level of the American gene pool. <laughs> but what do you expect? Hey, come on, this is a warlike country. We come from that northern European, basically the northern European genes, the blue eyes, those blue eyes. Boy, everybody in the world learned real quick, didn't they? When those blue eyes sail out of the north, you better nail everything down, motherfucker. <laughs> nail it down, strap it down, or they'll grab it. If they can't take it home, they'll burn it. If they can't burn it, they'll fuck it. <laughs> That's what happened to us. And it's a warlike country. Come on. I mean, forget foreign policy. Even the domestic rhetoric is warlike. Everything about our domestic policy invokes the thought of war. We don't like something in this country, we declare war on it. The war on poverty, the war on drugs, the war on crime, the war on AIDS, the war on cancer. We got the only national anthem that mentions fucking rockets and bombs in the goddamn thing. You know what I mean? All right. 